Cost Accounting 23 Activity Based Costing. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Prep. You go to our web page, you can see the home page with information about us and some of the things that I'll share at the end of the presentation. This is about activity based costing, which is a cost accounting concept, and I define it here. ABC assigns costs based on specific activities related to producing and selling a product or service. The reason we use activity-based costing, or ABC, is that costs are better assigned to the product. They're more specific because we have an activity that drives the cost that is connected to the cost itself. And if our costs are better assigned to the product, it's more likely that our total product cost will be more accurate. And if that's the case, we can put a price in the product to achieve a specific level of profit and have a better shot at knowing that our total costs are more accurate if we use ABC costing. So this example we're going to assume is a landscaping company that provides some services. They'll design your landscaping. They'll actually put in the plants and irrigate it, which means install it, for lack of a better term. And then they'll maintain it. They'll come by and mow your grass and trim the hedges and water going forward. So there's three products that this landscaping company does. Some of the shared costs currently are being allocated into a general account called administration. And again, that's not a very specific way of assigning costs. Some examples of the shared costs are depreciation on equipment and other assets, rent. We found out later that there is a nursery that the company has. Maybe they're renting the nursery space to hold the plants. Maybe they're renting office space. And then personnel costs. Now, this example talks about four different ways to assign costs. The first one is the more traditional activity-based costing approach, and the other three are uh, specific to this question and not necessarily things that you'll see all the time. So the first way is to assign costs based on activity levels for each type of cost, and we'll see more of an explanation of that in a minute. This question also assigns costs based on FTEs, full-time equivalent employees, which is a way of measuring how many employees you have, whether they're full-time or part-time in an organization. They assign costs just based on direct labor costs. They assign costs based on labor, and it really should say labor costs, not just hours, and a share of direct material costs. So these are the four methods that they assign costs by. So the first example I put down, I called this section the allocation of shared costs based on usage. It makes logical sense that of the three departments, design, installation, and maintenance, the more that you use a particular activity, the more of the co more costs you should incur. And I put down here for the student because it really wasn't made clear in their question that we were able to come up with a method to allocate all costs. You can see that these departments have revenue across the top, adding up to a total off to the right. And you will see that there's an admin category, but what happens at the end of this problem is, is that more costs are assigned to the areas where we produce a product or service, and much less is assigned to this general admin area, which makes sense because most of your costs are related to producing a product or a service. Some of these costs we were given straight out of the question, such as we found out that plant and sod for both the installation and the maintenance areas were based on a percentage of revenue, and so we just plugged those numbers in. Some of the labor also was given to us in the question. So if I slide up to the top here, you'll see that we have some part-time employees for both installation and maintenance. We're told how many employees there are, how many hours they work a year, and you can see that's less than 2,000, which is probably make them part-time, a rate per hour. And if I multiply those three together, I get blue times green times pink. I get a total dollar amount of installation salary, which goes right here, installation, direct labor. 
and I get a similar number for maintenance. 115, 200, and that number goes under direct labor maintenance. This other material and supplies, we're told in the question that this, is, this cost is 3% of revenue. So for each of the three categories, I simply take the revenue times 3% that's given in the question. The other areas down here, we get some more specific allocation techniques. So, for example, office rent and utilities, we allocate based on office space. So, we were given a total square footage of office space available. It turns out that the design department has a certain amount of office space that they rent. It turns out to be 58% of the total. So. Each of the departments has a certain square footage of office space. I created a fraction there to come up with that percentage. So for example, in the design area, it's 360 divided by 620 to get me 58%. 58% of the $30,000 cost is my design cost, 17419. And if I scroll up, I see under office cost 17419 for the design area for office costs. Utility costs, same way, it's a percentage of total space. For vehicle usage, we're given the percent that each department uses. The design area, for example, uses 10%. Installation 45, so design gets 10% of the 28,000. That $2,800 goes up here. Vehicle depreciation, $2,800 for the design department because they used 10% of the vehicles, they get 10% of the depreciation. Same thing with equipment. Not surprisingly, the design department doesn't get it, use any equipment. It's the people who are in the field doing installation and maintenance that use the equipment, almost all installation. So they get, those two departments get assigned the equipment cost. The design people use a lot of the IT, 60%. So design gets 60% of the design cost of 8,400. Payroll gets assigned by full-time equivalent employees. These percentages are linked in, and so we assign payroll. So for example, to get the design payroll, 6202. There's the 6202 design cost payroll rounded to 6203. And finally, purchasing gets assigned based on the percentage of purchase orders, and the purchase orders are listed down here. They add up to a total of 330. So for example, for design, 20 divided by 330 is about 6%. So the design department gets about 6% of the 31,000 purchasing cost, 1878. And so that 1878 gets assigned up here also. It rounds to 1879, purchasing, design department. So what you end up with is all these allocations. Off to the right, I make sure that all those allocations add up right here to the numbers over here. And that means that I've assigned all my costs. So here's my total expenses. And I see here and in this check figure that I have assigned all the expenses using the allocation methods at the bottom of the page right here. Various different methods, all of which are given in the question. We'll finish up this question on the next video. Remember that three of the books, Accounting All in One for Dummies, the CPA Exam for Dummies, and finally the book cover that I have out here, Cost Accounting for Dummies, are all available right now. 
If you need tutoring services in accounting and finance, you can go to the uh, tutoring page here on the website, and all the information is here. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.